Okay, so we're going to talk about squats today. Let's def define squats, and that's ankles, knees, and hips flexing and extending simultaneously while the spine is neutral. Um, we did a little bit of that in the, in the previous video, working on the rocking. The next thing that we're going to do is, when we're doing a squatting, what I found over the years is that people don't really have a hard time standing up for the squat. What they do is they have a hard time um, descending into the squat. And, and I think the reason for that is that when you stand up into a, in, you're standing up to prepare for a squat, you have no leverage on you. Everything is good and what you're doing is you're moving from a place from no leverage to a place of, of higher leverage with your ankles, knees, and hips flexed and your spine. So one of the things that I've been working on lately with people is, is really just taking their, um, their hips and making sure that they can actually flex their hips with a little bit of load and keep their spine neutral. And it's harder than, it, it's harder than you would think it is. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do some segmental rolls. Um, in, in particular, the segmental roll with the um, uh, lower body segmental roll going from your belly to your back. And then the last thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do some uh, shin box um, moves and then finally wrap it into an air squat. So we'll just kind of talk about the, what the movements are um, um, as we go along. So the first thing, supine hip extension. Here like this, um, we did this before with single leg, here like this, but here's the, here's the most important part. Take your hands here like this, make sure you have a little bit of an arch here. You can put like a little, like a pen or like a, um, something in there that you can kind of feel that your spine is not um, touching the ground. Take your hands and just pull them in this way. What you can do is make sure your, your ankles are uh, squat-like, so dorsiflexed. Take your hands here, maybe a little bit of there just to get a little core activity. Make sure you can do a deep belly breath. Pull your knees in, here's the actual exercise part. You're gonna pull this in. And the way that I cue this, or the way that I think about it is, again, ACES, anterior superior iliac spine, that bony thing right there where your pants sit on, um, moves closer to your femur. So that angle between that bony thing and, and, and that bone gets closer, or gets short, smaller, that angle. Pull in, make sure your feet are squat-like. So that's that, pull in. Um, second thing we're gonna do, segmental rolls. One of the things about the squat is, is that your, your knees are, um, and hips are gonna um, rotate as well as they're gonna flex. So we're gonna kind of mimic that and just double check that you know, um, that your body knows actually how to do that. So here, roll onto your belly, and we're just gonna do this. So first things first, you go a little bit of hip extension, then abduction, and then rotation. And you're just gonna roll that over and make sure you can do that. What happens is where, where people where people cheat is that they do this. They go here like this, and they can do that pretty good, and they can rope, and they can move their leg out away from their center, but when they start moving it this way, they flex their hips again, and then open their hips. So you wanna be able to keep your hips open while you do that whole movement. And if you wanna roll over all the way, that's fine too, but this is where all the, the good stuff is. We're, we're just gonna check that and make sure that that works. So, lower body segmental roll, bam, bam, bam. Just, that's just a half. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, make sure that happens. Next thing we're gonna do is um, make sure we can do shin box. So, here like this, they call this shin box, I guess it's half a box, but maybe that's just too many words, I don't know. So here like this, all we're gonna do is be able to just extend our hips and make sure the spine is neutral. <laughs> so here, and then you're just gonna bring yourself back up. So this position, full extension with the hips, hopefully, or pretty close, and then back down. Um, the way that people kind of compensate for the glutes not working or the rotation not being able to work right is they go like this 
and then come up. But we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that when you come up, you're here, your spine stays as perpendicular as possible. And then back. And you want to be able to control that every inch of the way. Make sure all of those muscles can do what they are supposed to be doing. Here. And then we're going to just wrap that into some squats. Make sure, um, make sure your spine is neutral. And the way that I do that and that it's not moving, you can either do it this way or you can do it this way. And what we're looking for to make sure that you're not moving your back. And then sometimes for people who are kind of struggling with this, what I'll say is take your belly button, take your rib cage, press it back into your hand just a little bit and then see what happens. Good. Now, notice that I didn't say anything about width of the feet. For right now, it doesn't matter because we're, all we're trying to do is ankle, knee, and hip flexion all at the same time simultaneously with a neutral spine. Your feet can go wherever you want. One can be pointing straight, one can be off to the side. For right now, that's, that's obviously not the best squat technique, but for right now, that's what we're working on. And then we'll sort that, uh, that in either the asymmetry or a wide stance at a later time. So that's working on the squat technique.